Housing Minister Richard Frederick confirms that Block X in Castries City will be demolished in the coming days. That all mechanisms are in place now. All the preparations are being made. The relevant utility companies have been contacted for the imminent demolition of Block X, slated for Sunday, the 1st of October, Sunday coming, and the following day, Monday, which is a holiday. The National Housing Corporation has issued a notice to individuals with any interest in movable items within the structure to remove them immediately. Otherwise, they will be considered derelict and disposed of accordingly. So we have worked with the people. We have put some in, um, almost all of them rather, in better premises, more expensive premises as well in some instances. And there are one or two that we have actually assisted in constructing their own residential structures. The NHC has already relocated tenants to new premises in anticipation of the demolition, which is necessary due to the building's lack of structural integrity. As a prominent landmark in the heart of Castries, the future use of the location is uncertain. The land is prime property. That land there, I mean, it's valued almost a thousand dollars a square foot it's it is top dollar land and therefore we need top dollar investment to go on that land at this juncture i cannot see with any degree of certainty um, the land belongs to the castry city council and decisions like this i do not take unilaterally we would have to do it in a very consultative way bring all stakeholders to the table and a decision can be made henceforth. I can tell you whatever that will be placed there will be temporary for now, but we cannot permit any kind of haphazard structure or haphazard business to go there that would import any degree of permanence in that area. That area has to be developed in a 2023 fashion. The Colonial Development Corporation, CDC, apartment buildings were built in 1952 to house people who lost their homes in the 1948 Castries fire. The apartments have provided affordable housing to many St. Lucians, especially low-income and vulnerable families. However, a few of the over 70-year-old buildings have become structurally unsound and a threat to public safety. Thus, the decision by the authorities to level the structures to avert a disaster.